This should be a very messy and complex environment, but no matter how massive the black hole is, the stuff flowing onto different black holes looks the same, said Barry McKernan, an astrophysicist at the City University of New York's Borough of Manhattan Community College and the American Museum of Natural History in New York. Supermassive black holes are found at the centres of 245 active galactic nuclei, which McKernan and associates examined data from. These black holes have the ability to release intense radiation beams with the brightness of billions of stars, and they feed on gas that falls into them. The mass of the black holes under study ranged from 1 million to 100 million times that of the Sun. In particular, the researchers measured the infrared and X-ray light surrounding these black holes in order to test a theory regarding the connection between these two extreme radiation types. They were aware that infrared light should originate from warm material farther away from the black hole, while X-rays should originate from hot material near the black hole.